So I told you earlier I was going to uh, read a tweet. This is just a little uh, show history and world history and, you know, where we are today. Three years ago today, I sent out this tweet. A note on today's Hockman and Crowder show. I was informed last night that out of an abundance of caution, 790 and 560 would be airing network programs today. And our show would hopefully be back on the air tomorrow, either from the studio or from home. My plan is to be on the air tomorrow. Three years ago today is when COVID hit us at work and uh, and they told us stay home and we'll figure it out. We we had never broadcast from home before. I, 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 I would probably cringe if I went back and listened to what it sounded like, I do know this, like right now, and you can see where I'm at right now. If you look at our YouTube page, it's 560 WQAM on YouTube. You can subscribe and then you can look at the Hockman and Crowder playlist. Like you you can see where Crowder is, where I am. Solana's in studio. The way that I was doing it, I remember I had a table set up somewhere. I had like towels to try to absorb <laughs> some of the sound because I didn't want the sound bouncing all but we we had no idea what we were doing honestly right nope. I mean it, it was probably like a fire drill right Solana like getting us on the air and and uh but I mean it was an amazing feat no joke by our engineering department and everyone involved we went from never but imagine most people went from never having worked mm-hmm. at home to let's figure it out and do it. Yep. Because I remember Len saying to me, I think it was a Sunday night, we'll probably keep you off the air this week and we'll figure out. And I said, no, we got to get on the air. And they and we were on the air. We missed one. Am I right? Missed one day, Solana? Mm-hmm. One day. It was Monday, which is what your tweet was alluding to. Yeah. Tuesday. We had all shipped in through Amazon microphones and everybody was set up from their houses. That's right. I had to go pick up my my snowball at uh, Best Buy. Yeah. Over there by Sawgrass. Yeah, that's right. I I went to Best Buy. I did. I did. I did. You all of a sudden you could do drive in pickup at Best Buy. Yes. I'm telling you, the whole world changed. And but that that, this was it was three years ago today that this show was was first really impacted. Yeah, and it it makes you see what you when you what you can do when you have to do it. Yes, because even us, you had your whole damn house rewired. Your your show, your pit, your your podcast is called the Pivot. The entire world yes. pivoted. <laughs> At that no time, joke. you had to you had to figure it out. I got all these damn Google. I have one of these little ugly boxes still that we got cut off. But I just went and bought a bunch of these to expand the Wi Fi. I, I don't know how to break this, dude. That's a fire alarm. That's a smoke detector, Crowder. I I don't. uh, You have placed smoke detectors over every desk in your house. I'm so sorry. You're so close. This is a Wi Fi extender. I don't know what this thing is. (laughs) It's a 305. Dolly. 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 God bless. Dolly. Dolly. Thank you, Jimmy. 305, sponsored by Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE, 1-800-747-3733. Yeah, I think you've got a carbon monoxide leak. Get out of your house. <laughs> it turns blue. Get out of your house. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got the broadband put in, so now I just have these little smoke detectors sitting. There's about eight of them sitting around the house. <laughs> I love that his house is outfitted with smoke detectors. <laughs> if they ever says that my house burnt down with me in it, y'all call foul play. <laughs> it's all Dateline first. <laughs> it did not happen. 